Yeah, Chandy, good evening. About 100 Uber and Lyft drivers are pumping the brakes on driving for 48 hours. The strike started yesterday at 3 p.m. It'll end tomorrow at 3 p.m. And they hope this extended pause uh, does something to ignite change. On a typical Saturday afternoon, these rideshare drivers would be busy bringing drivers to brunch or a museum. I started doing this because I love getting people from point A to point B where they need to get to. But Rodney Hahn and dozens of other experienced drivers say they cannot get behind the wheel when there are so many roadblocks to them making the kind of money they used to. I make less than 50% of what I used to make within 12 hours. I used to do great doing this job. It's not so great anymore. Drivers say they're making only about a third of the cost of a ride. They attribute that to an introduction of something called upfront pricing, locking in drivers pay before the ride instead of calculating the rate once the ride is done. Lyft shared a statement saying in part, we launched upfront pay across the country, which shows drivers ride information and what they'll earn before accepting a ride. A spokesperson for Uber said all drivers receive the fare and destination information up front before they accept a trip. I challenge Uber to contact me directly and tell me that you're not taking my money. Lori Wretch is one of many drivers also raising safety concerns. The protest Saturday comes exactly one year after the death of Pittsburgh Uber driver Christina Spacuza. Police say Spacuza was killed by a passenger who used someone else's account to access the ride. Drivers tell us Uber and Lyft do not allow them to carry weapons in the car. If my state allows me to carry my weapon, Uber, it should trump Uber and Lyft on any regard. We should have every right to protect our own bodies in our own cars. Again, the strike ends tomorrow at 3 p.m., but the drivers are hoping this weekend has done enough to catch the attention of Pittsburgh Mayor Ed Ganey and even Governor Josh Shapiro. We're live downtown tonight. Mike Valenti, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.